Applying dimensions in a drawing is a two-step process. You come up to settings and pick dimension style and I'll click the list tab here. Set a, or create a dimension style to suit your purpose. I've called this one dimension style A. I've adjusted my lines and arrows so I'm using an architectural tick. I've slightly adjusted text and units. Let's come back to list, make sure the dimmer style A is set as current and we'll OK it. Now let's apply some dimensions. So it's draw and then dim linear. We're asked for a start point for the dimension and then an end point for the, for the dimension. Now tracking's on so I can step off and set this at say 1100 or 1200 offset. We'll go 1200 offset so that dimension's in. Right click, repeat the dim linear, pick up that point there, that point there and come down here again with tracking on. We can set it at 1200, repeat our dimensioning, pick up that point and that point come down here with tracking on and in it goes. I'll escape from there. So our dimensions are in in that linear running sequence working in this case from that corner across. So if we select one of those dimensions and right click and go to properties you'll see it's in dim style A on a particular layer. So applying a dimension to a drawing is straightforward once the dimension style is set up.